climate change, food security, land and ecosystem degradation, and wake institutions are the complex challenges that drylands transform aims to address in the East African drylands. This will be achieved by investigating the interlinkage between land health, livestock-based livelihoods, human well-being, and land governance mechanisms in order to contribute to transformative change and sustainable development of the social ecological system in drylands of East Africa. I'm happy about the Drylands Transform project. The inception was done together with us, all the leadership, all the parish councillors were involved in identification of land for the project. Poron being a new, uh, new sub-country and Dallas Transform being the first project to, to, to start work here, people appreciate so much uh, because people have been able to, to get some benefits in the initial start of the project. Developing transformative pathways through policy and practice, Drylands partnered with the EGARD Center for Pastoral Areas and Livestock Development under Objective 5 of the project to disseminate research knowledge at cluster, national and regional level. Dryland Transform Research Project is an applied research that we are partnering with uh, University of Nairobi uh, Makare University, uh, Swedish Agricultural uh, University, and ICRAF, focusing on uh, dry land development. Uh, centrally, the role of IGAD is um, because this is an applied research uh, to look into important findings of the research and disseminate, as well as also um, scale out some of the, the, the aspects of the research finding. In, into applied practice. A site visit was undertaken in September 2022 with a goal to document the achievements so far in the project sites in the Karamoja cluster. In Dryland Transform, we aim to investigate, to address issues of climate resilience and we are also studying how land health is related to uh, livestock production, uh, human well-being and also the connectedness of issues of livelihoods and also the institutions that are there in uh, the Kalamoja border region because we want to see how all this is connected to sustainable development goals. The project we are implementing in four sites. Uh, two sites are in agro-pastoral area. Uh, that is West Pokot County in Kenya and Napak uh, District in Uganda. The two pastoral uh, sites, one is in Trukana County in uh, Rokiriyama and Rupa a Moroto district in Uganda. Within this project, we have five objectives. And today, I will be able to talk about one of the objectives, which is, uh, which is targeting technologies that are applicable to the pastoralists and agropastoralists. And one of them, the site we are standing on is called, we termed, termed, termed it as a livestock cafe. And in this livestock cafe, like any other cafe, where you go and get ideas, get a drink, you have a variety of what to choose. So this one here, what we are calling a livestock cafe, it is where also different technologies are demonstrated, different uh, uh, ideas, and its main purpose is supposed to be a knowledge sharing hub. 
The objective of the visit was to participate in site visits to capture the ongoing research work in Karamoja Cluster by Dryland's Transform team for purpose of dissemination and the sites visited included Chepukat Village, Chepareria Ward in West Pokot County. And the livestock cafes are about two things. One is demonstrating various technologies, methodologies that are known uh, to the local society and discuss uh, that with them uh, for restoration, for cultivation, for kitchen gardens and so on. Uh, and it is about doing experimental research on what will eventually be uh, silvipastoral management methodologies that could be applied on huge areas in, in uh, Karamoja. The overall goal of Drylands Transform is to contribute knowledge for the implementation and achievement of the Global Sustainable Development Goals while optimizing synergies and minimizing trade-offs between the SDGs in the East African Drylands. Kwa majina mimi naitwa John Ruto mkaaji wa West Pokot County ward ya Chepareria Chepukat Village. Nashukuru Mungu sana kwa watu wa Dryland Transformer. Wametufunza watu 45. Wameshukuru Mungu sana kwa sababu wamejua vile wanatengeneza hata kama shamba ni kidogo, wanamejua vile wanalima. Wanalima vitu mingi kwa shamba kidogo na hiyo ni mzuri sana. Hao watu 45 wameshikana kama group kuchua ya kuwa wameshikana kama group kutembeleana kulima kama vile tumefungwa hii hii afmun hata kama shamba yako ni kidogo unatengeneza tu hata kama ni tano inachukua vitu mingi ndani na hiyo tumeshukuru Mungu sana na hii hata hii shamba imeendelea mzuri kwa sababu tumeona fiti inatoka ndani ikiwa tu ni mtu mmoja inatusaidia vitu mingi unaweza faidika hata uwezi yenda shamba kununua vitu iko vitu yote ndani Na hiyo tunashukuru Mungu sana. Through strong stakeholder engagement in interdisciplinary research, they will set out to explore the challenges and pathways towards a social ecological transformation in drylands that optimizes synergies among the sustainable development goals while minimizing the trade-offs. <laughs> Drylands Transform will use innovative field research approaches focusing on livelihood improvement through rangeland restoration and governance interventions in the border region between Kenya and Uganda. The site's visit was concluded with the Farmers Field Day at the Livestock Cafe site on September the 14th, 2022 in Chepareria Ward, West Pokot County, Kenya to showcase the various technologies and food crops that were planted on the kitchen garden area where demonstration on the half-moon water harvesting structures and various grass species used in receding the degraded land were made. <laughs> I am Masi Cheserem Leting from Ministry of Agriculture, West Pokot County, Kenya. We are here doing follow-up for DOTs who are trained on permaculture. We trained a team of 35 farmers and we, we advised them to go and train five farmers each. So we are expecting that they have trained approximately over 150 farmers. Mumefraya mafunza sindio? Sawa, santeni sana. <laughs>